Hello welcome to the Clemens Football Show. Our guest today is Clemens Athletic Director Terry Doan Jimmy John Billy Bob Blue Diamond Phillips. How are you today sir? Between living in Pickens County and the third straight beat down by the Gamecocks I am not doing very well at all. Yes Pickens County is a very crappy place to live. Terry Doan Jimmy John Billy Bob Blue Diamond Phillips. We understand that you are here today to address some of the problems surrounding the Clemens football program. Yes. Good, because many Clemens fans are baffled as to why their team has taken a complete dump down the stretch. Well, first of all it doesn't take much to baffle most Clemens fans. Things such as basic hygiene and family trees can be very confusing for them. Sad but very true. But sir, can you give a reason for the epic dumping committed by the Clemens football team? Well, there are several reasons. Well, go on then. Well, the first is that there is something in those hills around Clemens. Yes, we've heard Coach Debo say that before, but sir, what exactly is it in those hills? Cows and sheep. Terry Doan, Jimmy John, Billy Bob, Blue Diamond, Phillips. Are you saying that the Clemens players are fucking livestock? Yes, and each other. The hell you say? I am afraid it's true, you see when Debo changed the team slogan to All In, some of the players misunderstood what he meant. Well then, that explains a lot about our Ipte slogan, Orange Pride. Yes, that is how we recruited J. Dean. 3128 J. Dean? Yes, we also have had terrible problems with Turf Toe. Yes, that is quite puzzling. Considering how Clemens is an ag school you would think we hit better turf. Yes, unfortunately we suck at the two. So, are those your only explanations as to why we choked down the stretch? Well, we also no longer have the greatest athlete in the history of the world, C.J. Spiller. Greatest athlete in the history of the world? Yes, better than Jim Thorpe and Jesse Owens but not as fast as Jacoby Ford. Say... Wasn't C.J. Spiller a forestry major? I am not sure. Why? Well, he's as short as ride the pine in Buffalo. Sir, do you think that Debo could be in over his head? Of course, but we had no way of knowing that when he snaked the job from Tommy Bowden. Snaked the job? Yes, he may come off as a lovable idiot on television, but in person he is a bigger weasel than Ron Morris. Sir... Could it just be that Steve Spurrier and the Carolina players are just better than Clemens? And that is the reason the Gamecocks broke it off in us three years straight? Well, that is a given, but try explaining that to these purple and orange clad mongoloids. Could it be that it is time for a coaching change? Yes, but I blew all our cash on Tommy Bowden's buyout, Kenneth Page, and James Davis as Escalade. James Davis? Was he partly cloudy or chance of rain? He was partly cloudy. CJ was chance of rain. I assume that he was a forestry major also. Is it possible that Clemens could afford to promote from within to get rid of Debo? Well, Brad Scott said that he would take the job but he wants to be paid with gift cards from the Beacon. Damn. Yes. We will be stuck with Debo for years. I've had about enough of this shit. Terry Don't Jimmy John Billy Bob Blue Diamond Phillips do you have anything else to say? Yes, I would avoid eating that Clemens blue cheese. And why is that exactly? Three words. Brad Scott's navel.